Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala nabijina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa azwajihi ajma'in. Amma ba'd fa'awzu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim bismillahi rahman rahim Rabbish rahli sadri, wa yasir li amri, wa ahlu luqtatan min lisani yafqahu kawli. Rabbi zidni ilman ajma'in inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. We will continue uh, from where we left yesterday. Yesterday we read the key so that uh, I can explain you in English what the lesson consists about and the gist of it I have written on the board brothers and sisters now we will straight away go to the main lesson and you will be figuring out eh? brothers and sisters we are studying istasna what are we studying istasna exception eh? so the most common Tool of istasna is illa, which is a particle. Hmm? Before illa comes, what does come before illa? Mustasna minhu. Huh? Are you with me? And after illa will come mustasna. Huh? We got to remember that. Huh? Before illa, we will have mustasna minhu. And after illa, we will have mustasna. Okay. There are four kinds of istasna. If we study it 
and ponder over it. It's very simple, brothers and sisters. We have also given you a sheet. Has everybody got the handout? Now this handout is also available in the book. Did you all purchase a handout for book two and three? Yes. Uh, you have it. Huh? It is there also. But I made another copy for you. And I have highlighted certain things, as you can see. Huh? So, brothers and sisters, istasna, okay, can be tamun or it can be mufarrakun. That's all. When you say it is tamun, what does it mean? It has mustasna minhu and mustasna in it. Khalas. If you say it is mufarragun, means it does not have mustasna minhu in it. So it's very simple. Okay. Now, if we say it is tamun, then that it means it has mustasna minhu and mustasna. And if they both agree with each other, then it becomes mutasil. Simple. And if the Sentence does not have any negation, then it is mujabun. So very simple. If you say tamun muttasilun mujabun, what does it mean? Tamun means mustasna minhu and mustasna are maujud in the sentence. Muttasil, they agree with each other. Mujabun, the sentence has no negation. So it's very simple. Okay. Now if the sentence is like that, then how will you give the Arab to Mustasna? So we are we have to find out the Arab of Mustasna after Illa. We have to find out what kind of an Arab it will have. So if the sentence is Tamun Muttasilun and Mujabun, the Arab has to be Mansub. It should be Mansub. Wujubun huh? Naspi. It should be Mansub. Period. Huh? Now, number two. Tamun. It has Mustasna Minhu and Mustasna in it. And it is Muttasil. Huh? It is Muttasil. Uh, okay, they agree with each other. Huh? They agree with each other. But the sentence has negation. Huh? The sentence is غَيْرُ mujabin. It has negation. Now what shall we do? What kind of an Arab Mustasna deserves now? Huh? You have how many choices? Two choices. Remember, two choices. Either we can make it mansu, perfect, or the mustasna should follow the Arab of mustasna minhu. If the mustasna minhu is marfu, then the mustasna is marfu. If it is mansu, it is mansu. If it is majru, it is majru. So how many choices you have? Two choices. Either you make it mansu. Or Mustasna should follow the Arab of Mustasna Minhu. So it's very simple. Today, inshallah, you'll be more comfortable. And tomorrow, inshallah, if you revise it, you will have a perfect understanding. Yes? Maybe after a week, you will forget. I used to forget. Huh? But that's normal. Huh? Then you will again revise it and it will come back to you, inshallah. Number three. Tamun. What does it mean? It has mustasna minhu and mustasna in it. Munkation. They do not agree. They are of two different kinds. But then the sentence can be mujabun or can be gairun mujabun. Doesn't matter. In all cases, the mustasna should be mansu. In all cases, it should be mansub. These are the rules we will remember. Okay. Three, 
We have done three. Now the last one is Mufarraq. What is the meaning of Mufarraq? The sentence does not contain Mustasna Minhu. Now what shall we do? What kind of Arab we gave to Mustasna? Okay. We have to see the context of the sentence huh? and decide. Is it file? Is it mafulun bihi? Is it majroor? What is it? Huh? The context of the sentence will decide. And the other easy way is that you momentarily omit illa. The meaning will completely change. Huh? But that's not what we are looking for. We are only removing illa huh, for the time being, brothers and sisters, to figure out the Arab. Huh? Once you figure out the Arab, put back the illa in its proper place. Got the idea? This is another way of uh, looking at the Arab of Mustasna. But as I said, if we look to the context of the sentence, we will, inshallah, Figure it out. Now we are going to the main lesson, brothers and sisters. Every time istathna will come, you will have to figure out which of these four kinds it is. Huh? And then you will figure out what kind of a rab it deserves. Sister Mamuna, you have a question? You rabu, we has be. According to the context, you you do the Arab according to the context that it demands. Huh? You see, Amil is normally a verb. Are you with me? We studied in lesson number one. Huh? Amil. Huh? So the whatever the verb demands, you know, you follow it. Huh? Okay. The English of this. Sister Ramona will be as the context requires. Are you with me? You will give the Arab as the context requires. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What kind of verb is this? Form. Form it, mashallah. Now give me the verb. Iktada. Iktada. Yaktadi, yeah? whatever it demands, okay, or it follows the footsteps of the Amil. Are you with me? It follows the footsteps of Amil. It takes the model of Amil. Are you with me? But the the simplest. Brothers and sisters, the simplest thing you can translate this in English is as the context of the sentence requires. Sometimes when you try to translate in its literal meaning, the meaning sometimes is not 100% clear huh? if you try to translate in English. So sometimes we use uh, the gist of it. Huh? What does the sentence mean? That you will give the Arab as the context requires. Huh? And the other way, Sister Mamuna, Kama Laukanat Illa Ghar Mawjud. As if uh, the Illa is not present. So remove Illa. And you will find out the Arab and put back the illa again, huh? inshallah. Brothers and sisters, be ready. We are going to the main lesson now. Huh? And you will be figuring out, okay, inshallah. We will try to finish this lesson in today's session, inshallah. Huh? Lesson number 32. Ali is asking, to the teacher. Ma natijatul ikhtibar shahri ya ustad. What is the translation? What is the result of mentally exam ya ustad? 
Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Very good. Natijatul ikhtibari mudaf mudaf ilayhi. And what is shahri? Not. Got the idea? Inshallah. Al mudaris. Najahatullabu kulluhum. Translation? Each and every student passed. Illa wahidan. Except what? Wahidan. Mansu. Why? Huh? Then we figure out. What kind of a istasna it is here? Tamun mutasilun buchabun. Got the idea? Huh? Number one. Okay? And then, what is the ruling? That mustasna should be? Mansub. Is it mansub? It is mansub. Huh? So, how will you write down if you have to write down in different columns? Uh, you will write down the sentence. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Then in the next column, you will write down Tahamun, Muttasilun, Mujabun. And in the third column, what will you write down? Wujubun Naspi. Huh? That it should be Mansub. This is the way you will make three columns and write down your explanation. Huh? Inshallah. Now, when we are doing book two, I used to say, I used to recommend, do not go to Hallo Tamarin. You refer to Hallo Tamarin after you have done your homework. But in book three, especially in the last half of book three, in the latter part of book three, brothers and sisters, I recommend that you should refer to Hallo Tamarin straight away. Because it gives you a good idea. Huh? Huh? Just read it. Then leave it aside and then study the lesson and try to do the tamarin and then again refer to it, inshallah. Because Dr. Sahib has done wonders with Hallo Tamarin, especially for book three. Hallo Tamarin of book three makes the understanding of book three very easy. Alhamdulillah, brother. You are very lucky, brothers and sisters, that you have all the tools in front of you to study with ease and comfort. Alhamdulillah. Brothers and sisters, Ibrahim is saying, Aksha. What is the meaning of Aksha? I am afraid. Huh? And Akuna Yahu. That it is, I am that person. I am that Okay? Yahu, what is Yahu here, brothers and sisters? Khabar Khana. Khabar Khana. And Akun, Ism, Khana, Mustatir. Takdiruhu, Ana. Very good. Al Mudaris, Nam, Anta Zaka. You are that. Ibrahim, Kaifa Nasabtu. How did I fail? Wakad ajabtu. What is ajabtu? Verb. What kind of verb is this? Ajaba yujibu. Mashallah, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. See, you have become very sharp now. Huh? Alhamdulillah, you are able to figure out the verbs. That is fantastic, brothers and sisters. That is what we were aiming in the beginning of our lessons that you will become inshallah, inshallah, master. <clears throat> as far as the verbs are concerned. <clears throat> and your knowledge will increase day by day as you will study Quran. Waqad <clears throat> ajabtu I had answered and I had answered Anil as'ilatil kulliha. Translation, brothers and sisters. I had answered all the questions. Illa except al awwala. Okay, brothers and sisters. <coughs> Let's go back to the sentence before. Najahatullabu kulluhum illa wahidam. 
वेर इज मुस्तना वेर इज मुस्तना मिन हु तो लाभ यू वट इज कुल्लु हम ताउीत है इट इज फॉर ताउीत सिमिलरली इन दिस सेंटेंस वेर इज मुस्तना अलाउवल आर यू विथ मी वेर इज मुस्तना मिन हु अल असी रहता And what is kulliha? Taukit. See kulliha. The taukit has to follow. Huh? Kullu, kulla, and kulli. <coughs> Al mudaris. So what will you say to this sentence, brothers and sisters? Taamun, mutasilun, mujabun. And what will you say? The ruling. It should be. Mansu, it should be Mansu. Al Mudaris, Al Lawalu, who Al Muhimmu. The first one is the most important. Wallahu salasuna darajatan. Lahu, what is Lahu, brother? Jar Maju. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Where is Muftada? Salasuna. What is darajatan? Tamiz. Huh? Because number has come. Huh? From 11 to 99, what is it? Tamiz. And from 3 to 10? But tamiz. Mudaf, mudaf, but tamiz. Okay? Ya ikhwanu, ishtahidu. Ya ikhwan, ujtahidu. Fil amar. Work hard. Ijtihadan. What is this? Makhfulun mutlaq. See? You can figure out. What kind of a makhfulun mutlaq is this? Li tawkid. This is li tawkid. Faqad diktara bal intihanu nihayu. What is the translation? The final examination has come very near, has approached us, okay, has approached. وَلَمْ يَبْكَى إِلَّا شَهْرٌ وَاحِدٌ One month. Only one month is left now. Or less. Or less. One month or less has left now. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay, now tell me one thing. Lam yabka. What is yabka here? Fialun mudaryun. Majzumun. Wa alamatu jazmihi. Hadfu harfi illa. The ya is dropped. What is the verb? Bakiya yabka. Write down. Bakiya yabka. <clears throat> like Nasiya. Huh? Okay. Now, where is Mustasna? Shahirun. Huh? Which is after Illa. Huh? And Mustasna Minhu is before Illa. Is it there? No. So, what kind of a sentence is this? Mufarra. Mufarra. Huh? Huh? Okay. So, okay, what kind of Arab it deserves? We have to see the context. Take out illa. Lam yabka shahirun. So, what is shahirun here? Fahil. It is fahil. Okay? That is why it is marfu. Got the idea? So, by removing illa, we can easily figure out the Arab of mustasna. Inshallah, it is clear. Brothers and sisters, good. Zuhair, kam darsan nadrusu lil intihan. Translation, brothers and sisters. How many lessons should we study for exam? What is the answer for from the teacher? Nadrusu al kitab. Kullahu. Nadrusul kitaba kullahu illat 
Translation, brothers and sisters. We will study the whole book except the last two lessons. Alhamdulillah, you can also translate very beautifully, mashallah. What kind of a istasna is it? Huh? See, dars is part of the kitab. So it is mutasil. Huh? It is tamun, mutasilun. Is, it, is there any negation here? No. So it is mujabun. Fine. So what is the ruling on the era? Huh? Should be mansub. Is it mansub? Yes, it is mansub. Darsaini. What is darsaini? Musanna. Wa alamatu nasbihi al yaw. Masha'Allah. 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 And what is akhiraini? Naat. It is the naat. Uh, you follow, Brother Hassan? It's clear, Brother? Inshallah. It, these are very s- simple and beautiful, Brother. Inshallah. Yusajjilul Giyaba. He. M- Writes down the uh, absentees who are not in the class. Huh? Then he's asking, Man ghaibun al yawm. Translation, brothers and sisters? Who's absent today? Huh? Ali says, Ma ghaib al yawm illa hamidun. Huh? No one is absent except Hamid. So Illa has come. What is after Illa? Mustathna. Where is Mustathna Minhu? It's not there. So what kind of a sentence is? Mufarraq. And you see, it is already in negation. And Mufarraq is always, always negation. Hmm? This is another cue for us to figure out. How can I make it tamun and muttasilun by writing ma gaba ahdun? Uh, write down with pencil. Uh, that is what it is missing here. Uh, ahdun is missing. Had the ahdun been there, then it would have become uh, muttasilun. Uh, but it is Mufarraq. Okay, because there is no mustasna minhu in it. Huh? So what kind of a Arab sh- should we give Sister Mamuna? Remove illa ma ghaba ma ghaba hamidun huh? ma ghaba al yawma hamidun So what is hamidun here? Fine. Huh? It, it fits properly. Okay, now bring back illa. Okay, if you say ma gaba hamidun, that is not where we are trying to state. We are trying to state no one is absent except hamid. That is what we are trying to state. Zohair, aina daftari ya ustad. Where is my notebook, o ustad? Huwa Ma'i, it is with me. Sa'uti kahu, translation, I will give it to you, Ghadan, inshallah. Lakad, brother, what is this Lakad? Lam, Lam only, fi jawabi kasam. Okay, Lam has come for the Kasam, which is mahzuf. Huh? And what is kad? Taqi. Huh? Lam is for the kasam mukaddara. Are you with me? Inshallah, you understand. Huh? So, whenever you see lakad and there is no kasam, so the kasam is huh? mahzuf. Huh? It is mukaddara. Okay, brothers and sisters, Lakad Sahahtu Adafatira Kullaha Illa 
ياهو لقد صححت الدفاتر كلها إلا ياهو got the idea brothers and sisters okay what kind of a sentence is this hmm? it is tamun so if you say tamun then you got to tell us where are the mustasna and mustasna minhu the fatira is mustasna minhu and where is mustasna iyahu huh? okay it is one of the uh, notebook Okay, fine. What is the ruling? Mansu. Is it Mansu? Yes, it is Mansu. Huh? So the sentence is Tamun, Muttasilun, and Mujabun. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Now, Buddha is saying, Fesat is Sabikati. Translation, brother and sister, sabikati in the previous period. Sharhatu lakumud darsa. Sharhatu lakumud darsa. I explain to you the dars illa jumalan menhu, except some sentences. Fine, brother and sisters. So, illa has come. What kind of istasna it is? Is it tamun? Yes, it is tamun. And then? Muttasilun. And then? Mujabun. There is no negation. So, brothers and sisters, what is the ruling? Nasba. Ujubun nasbi. Is it there? Yes, it is there. Jumalan. Jumalan, fine. Iza arattum uidu sharhahu kabla an ashrahal jumla lati lam tushrah baad. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Iza arattum. What is the meaning of iza arattum? If you wish or if you want. Huh? See, here arattum is madi. But you are translating in the present tense. Why? Because of Iza. Huh? Iza will change Madi into present tense. If you wish, Oidu. What is the meaning of Oidu? Repeat. Huh? What is the verb? What is Madi? Aada. Form? Form 4. Aada. Huh? Oidu. If you want, I will repeat uh, the explanation of it before I explain you the sentence, the sentences which I did not explain before. Uh, yet, or I did not explain yet. Uh, got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. Ibrahim says, La hajata. What is hajata? La nafya lil jins. There is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely no need. Ila iadati. What is iadati? Mastar. Repeating. Iadati. Sharhihi ya ustad. Sharhihi ya ustad. There is no need to repeat. Uh, the explanation of it, Ya Ustad. For Qad, so here, here it is not Lakad, but it is only Fa. Fa is Harfu Atfen. For Qad, Fahim Nahu, For Qad, Fahim Nahu, we have already understood it. Huh? We have understood it. There is no need to repeating its explanation. We have understood it. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Ali says, Arjuan Toida Sharahu Yaustad. I request you to repeat it, Yaustad. Falam Yafhamhu Ahdun Illa Ibrahi Mu. How many vowel signs are there in your book? Only one? 
Is it Dhamma or Fata? Dhamma. In my book, I got two vowel signs. Dhamma and Fata. So put a Fata there also, on top of Dhamma. So you have a choice now. And why do we have a choice? What kind of a sentence is this? Is it Tamun? Yes. It is Muttasilun? Yes. Huh? Ibrahim and Ahdun? They are same. Okay. Then, is it Mujabun? No, it's not. Because Lam has come. Negation. So it is Gairu Mujabin. Is it clear, brothers and sisters, inshallah? Now tell me one thing. What kind of a Arab should we give? Do we have any choices? Yes, we have two choices. Either it can be Mansub. If it is Mansub, then it will be Ibrahi Ma. Or it should follow the Arab of Mustathna Minhu, which is Ahdun. What is Ahdun? Marfu. So we can make it Marfu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Is it clear? No difficulty? Inshallah. Izan. What is Izan here? Harfu Nasbin. Huh? Okay. Izan Noi Da. Put a fatah there. It is there? Alhamdulillah. Kiratal Amsilatil Waridati Fiddars. Izan Noida Kiratal Amsilatil Waridati Fiddars. So we repeat the reading of the examples mentioned in the dars. Examples, huh? It's a plural, brothers and sisters. Amsilati. 